First, the, the newest member of the neighborhood. He is accompanied by Coach Lance Payne. He is uh, the world beater, Chris Coleman. His opponent, he is the new reigning and defending Imagine Live champion. He is the exotic one, Daniel Exotic. Man, I, was, I couldn't be happier for Daniel Exotic. Yeah, I agree, man. I agree. This is um, this is uh, this is the night, man. This is uh, this is you know it was it was nice to see him win the title, but uh, man, you now have seen he, he's getting put to the test tonight. Uh, you have seen how these last two matches have went. They have been completely dominated by Chris Coleman, and you know I, I I admire the strategy here. I've seen Daniel Exotic try to come out quick. On, on Chris Coleman, and I just, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm hoping for him. I like the kid a lot. He got a lot of, uh, a lot of, oh, that's, I hate to be pessimistic, but, uh, you know. So I was just about ready to say, I think it was the wrong strategy to keep it, keep in there and keep plowing it away at Coleman's face. Yeah. He needed to stick and move. Stick yeah. And move. Yeah, I think. Uh, Try to get him tired. You cannot coach the size and the strength that Chris Coleman has. It's just an unnatural amount. Uh, I encourage everybody to take some time, seek out Chris Coleman's uh, uh, social media, and, and just look at the tremendous amount of, of uh, strength that this man has, the competitions and strongman competitions. Like, it's just, you know, no matter how much cardio, no matter how much heart, no matter how much, you know, fire that a guy like Daniel Exotic has, you just, you know... You, All the fire in the world can't can't teach you how to beat Michael Jordan at basketball. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I don't know that Michael Jordan and Chris Coleman's a good comparison. Now. No, but I mean, ultimately, when you, when you're given natural gifts like Chris Coleman is, like it's just hard to compete with. I mean, and you're a guy who knows this. You're oh, yeah. six foot four. You were given gifts that. Many other wrestlers were not. You were naturally uh, had a very strong jaw and a big, strong head, and six foot four and two hundred and seventy pounds. And so you know what that's like being being the guy who's so much bigger than everybody else. And Coleman is just that. He is just bigger, stronger, and physically dominant. And you cannot coach that. Absolutely. And you know he ju he just uh, he just loves to beat people. Yeah. And, and this is what I, this, you know, I don't like the company that he keeps. I don't always like the strategy that he takes. But I love the fact that he never gets in a hurry and doesn't make a mistake. At the same time, there, there are times, Kato, I feel like he needs to get in a little bit more of a hurry. It, it, I, I, I don't know, man. It doesn't seem to be, uh, oh, it, uh, it seems to be working great for him right now. Yeah. Oh, those cross faces are wicked and unnaturally. Oh, and oh, now those dangerous elbows right to the sternum. May have picked those up from the Alpha. We've seen the Alpha use those uh, six to twelve style elbows lately a lot, and uh, you know, well, neighborhood stable mates. Yeah, and I believe they all train together at this point. They do indeed. Oh, and then on top of it, that godforsaken whistle on everything else. This is, uh, you can't help but feel bad for Daniel Exotic at this point. Oh, he's trying to fight back. I like that. He caught him hard with that first shot, trying to catch the wind out from under him. Oh, I thought he was going to punch him, and he just drove his foot right through the side of his face. You know, we, we, we feel bad for Daniel, yes, but we have to remember, Cato, this is Daniel's match to lose. Chris Coleman has to win this match with a pinfall to get the title. I don't Any think, other way, and he does not get the title. I don't think Daniel Exotic is a guy who takes a shortcut, though. He's not a guy who's going to take a leave and get a count out. He's not a guy who's going to cheat and take a disqualification. Daniel Exotic has a ton of a ton of heart and a ton of integrity, and I don't think he's a guy who would take a shortcut to retain a title. I don't think he would either, Kato, but it, it puts a little bit more importance on Chris Coleman needing that painter submission. Man, oh man, look at this. Look at this. He likes to call himself a world beater. I'd like to call him no mistakes, Chris Coleman. 
You don't see him make mistakes, man. No, you don't. He has a ton of experience, man. He has been at this a long time now. Uh, and still not an old man. Yeah, yeah. Still younger than, than you and I. I mean, he's, uh, he's, he's asking him to punch him in the face, man. This is a strategy you've employed in the past. And, uh, man, when you're so big, it's a... It's not a strategy Daniel Exotic or myself would ever want to employ. Oh! He just, again... Honestly, Cato, I found that allowing your opponent to punch you willingly and asking for more is very disheartening to your opponent. And, uh, man, I'm sure uh, Daniel Exotic is somewhat disheartened as a result of those ineffective blows combined with a straight shot with a flat of the foot, 100% legal, right in the face, man. Um, this may be a situation where this match has to get stopped based on um, Chris Coleman just knocking his guy out. He's getting closer and closer to it. Oh! Running power slam like the British Bulldog. And, uh, man, could have been it. Could have been it real close. You got to admire the heart of Daniel Exotic, though. Oh, absolutely, Cato. That's Kid, one of the things I absolutely do admire about he, that young he man. Never, I've never seen him quit. I've never seen him give up. I've never seen him tap out, man. He fights and fights and fights to the end. And uh, young guy. Yeah. Real young. Uh, I don't even know if he's 21 Whoa. yet. Oh, wow, yeah. Wow, you can hear those kicks from here. And he just keeps lighting him up right underneath the left ear and into the jaw. That first one really rocked Chris Coleman in a way that I've not seen him rock before. Yeah. And there he goes. He's coming hard with those shots. You can hear him from here. He's fighting for his life from underneath. Get out of the way. Maybe he's got a little bit of separation. Maybe he's got a little bit of a chance here. Oh, he cut the left leg out from under him, forcing all that momentum forward into the turnbuckle. I think this is the first time out of their meetings that Daniels actually had Chris Coleman off his feet. It got him down to his knees. I cannot imagine, though, he'll be able to get him down and flat to his back for a pinfall, though. Can you imagine that happening, having him down? How do you? Uh, how does Daniel hold a, a guy that size down for a pin? How does he get him down flat? Oh, oh, there you go, up and over. What's he going for? Oh, got him hard with that drop kick. Hard got him off balance. Oh my God! Kato, he got him. Wow. One, two. Oh my God! I thought that was it. He got him down though. Holy cow! He took him off his feet. I couldn't have seen that in a lifetime. He is truly fighting like a champion. Man, oh man! What an effort from Daniel Exotic. He just won that title, and he looks like he has no thoughts of giving up on being that champion, man. He is fighting hard tonight. Ah, oh, come on. Oh. Ring the bell. Yes. Yeah, man. Come on. Ring the bell. Good decision, Chris. That's ridiculous. Come on now. We need a neighborhood out there. Come on now. Lenny, something has to be done here. These guys are ridiculous. Can we get some help us here? Oh, he caught him with the, the muscle buster. Hey, guys, can we get some help? Come on now. We need some help out here. We need some help. There's, there's Jake Wiley. There's Brayden Elliott. They're coming in. Are they enough? Are they enough? I don't know, Kato. Daniel Jonick's still down, down from that muscle buster. Oh, they got to get some guys out of this ring if it's going to work for them. Oh, just too much. Chris Coleman. They left Just Coleman alone too, too long, much, it, man. It didn't work out for them. Just Coleman alone, the size of both the Rad Boys together. This is a mugging, and I don't think there's anyone left. Oh my God, the Midnight Flyers here. Who is this guy? What's his business here tonight with the neighborhood? What is going on? Bull, are everybody? Trying to get things sorted out here. Let's get some control here, right, guys. Boys are back on their feet, Kato. There you go. That's a fair fight. Three on three. Three. What's going to happen? Push Coleman in the ring anyway. Oh, throwing neighbor John Clear to the floor. He bounced on the ground. They got rid of Malachi Gage. A triple super kick. Got Chris Coleman clear to the floor. Good night. Man, oh, man. 
the Midnight Flyer and the Rad Boys 